And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some plunder timelines. It's going to be our next deck, our last meme tier deck today. Today's been going great. All sorts of great records today. So we'll see if we can finish it out also with this uh, concurrent timelines deck with plunder. So this deck was built around... Good thing for editing in <laughs> videos. Take two. Yes, Harvey, stop. Get, get, get over here. Stop scratching the chair. So this deck was built around having concurrent timelines um, and combining that with some of these big expensive plunder cards, especially like Riptide Rex, how it has this plunder cast six uh, cannon barrages. But then it's just a, a regular generic 6-4. And for an 8-mana card, there's some there's like a lot better followers that you can get than just a generic 6-4. But then also a card like Citrus Courier. This is going to be just a generic 6-mana 4-5. But you can get better cards. You can still play this. You still heal your allies and your Nexus 3 and Rally. But then you can get like an awesome 6-drop to go along with that. Bilgewater also gives you Devour Adepts. Where it would put this skill on the stack with the Obliterate an Enemy. <clears throat> but then you get to choose something bigger than a 4-4, four, four. you know, so you can, you know, find with six mana cards, you can find, you know, like a 6-6 six, six with like your three followers and then and obliterate with that. So you have your 6-6 six, six be able to obliterate, which could be really cool because there's, there's just really good like six mana followers, right? Like you can um, find something like, I guess, Soul Gorger isn't the best <clears throat> one, but I was thinking like the Minotaur Reckoner. Where's my Minotaur Reckoner? Yeah. So you can have like Minotaur Reckoner that has the round start stun the weakest enemy, but then it also obliterates something at the beginning. You know, you can obliterate something and then get this. That could be really, really cool. Or like Enviolus Vox with the, you know. So yeah, like there's there's some just like cool stuff that you can do with like Citrus Courier, Devourer with concurrent timelines. All right, uh, Bilgewater also gets you like Mystifying Magician. Um, so like one of your small things, you can turn it into a random five cost follower, plus turn this into something that's a lot better than a four mana 2-2, because a 2-2 is quite small for a four mana card. Same with Zap Sprayfin. Plus, we need to find concurrent timelines, right? Well, Sprayfin can help us find concurrent timelines if we don't have it, or if we do have it, uh, turn it into something better. So we got lots of, lots of cool cards here with abilities. Now, remember concurrent timelines is only the first follower you play each round. Okay, so it's not every single follower. And so that's important with a card like Ballistic Bot. Like, we really want Ballistic Bot in here because we want the Ignitions because the Ignitions can turn on Plunder for our more expensive cards. So we don't want Concurrent Timelines to, to change Ballistic Bot. So that's why, like, turn one, we're never going to play Timelines on turn one, right? Because, like, we'd rather just, like, turn two, play Ballistic Bot and just, like, hold Timelines and wait and, you know, hold that one spell mana and wait and try to get Ballistic Bot in play. But then even later on, whenever, you know, we play our, like whatever other card and it transforms, then for our second follower for turn, we can play Ballistic Bot second for just two mana and then it won't, uh, you know, timelines won't transform it. So that's gonna be an important aspect of this. All right, but yeah, let's get to it. Let's play some Plunder timelines. It should be crazy. Concurrent timelines always gives us a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and this could be pretty cool. All right, so here we go. Plunder timelines. We're just gonna play in normal because it's meme tier day. We'll see how we do. All right, we're over against Thresh Nasus. Very popular deck these days. All right, so we want to find concurrent timelines. That's something that's really important to do. Now, Sprayfin can kind of help find timelines, but I'm still going to mulligan it. I don't want to keep Sprayfin and Twisted Fate both, but I do want to keep Twisted Fate with the red card ability against this deck that can go wide. And yeah, if I would have kept Sprayfin, then we would have had Magician also, and it would have been just too many four mana cards. Hello. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna save parlay. Forgetting this death to an immortal. Because parlay can pair with, you know, twist of a red card, then shredder.
Or we can also discard Parlay. Hey, there's timelines. We found timelines. Everyone's a garden. I am a twist of a deck. Never lost a fair game. I do have some red cards. And no, I didn't really value that attack. I didn't really value having like attacking with my 4-3 and having them block with the 2-1. And then turning my Sum Dredger into a 4-1 whenever I knew that I was going to be red carding and killing that 2-1 anyway. This feels like a decent spot to slip in 4 damage though. Gonna go ahead and timelines, and then play Sprayfin. So our only spells in our deck are either timelines or Mystic Shot. We got two each left in the deck. I mean, Brash Gambler, Brash Gambler with Twisted Fate is just like the best. And I wish I did that before attacking now. That is just the best 4-drop. Unfortunately, this Thresh is going to kill my Twisted Fate. Now, if they are you know, going to be playing whatever to, to kill their own thing, not going to happen. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Because I'm going to be open attacking here and having Screeching Dragon Challenge, Thresh. And then, you know, having my Brash Gambler be able to be a free attacker. Alright, good. Yeah, this is nice. We're playing, you know, Brash Gambler without the discard. Like, what if Brash Gambler instead just said, play, um, you know, draw a, draw a spell that costs three or less and attune one, and then also attack, give me two play, you know, like, that's what we just turned it into. That's, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, so we'll start with this. Um... I mean, I guess another Brash Gambler, right? It's either... Because, like, this is a generic 5-5, five five, which is not bad either. So it's either 5-5 five five or another Gambler. I guess just another Gambler. Strongest enemy vulnerable. That I am superior life form. System upgrade. This thresh is still just gonna be a huge problem. You know, if they have like really big NASAs. Disengaged. 
I'll wait. That's one, then two, three, four. They only have four mana left. Yeah, I'll take a five-five scout. Five-five scout's pretty cool. Very surprised they didn't just do that immediately. That was the very that was the easy play. Man, that's that's too bad. Yeah, I don't I don't really know how I beat Nessus. I guess. I guess we'll have to see. I'm not sure how I do. I guess my deal one dollar stuff really backfired. I didn't think they could level up Thresh, but then they, they were able, you know, with their four mana, they killed two more things. Yeah, I guess this game's over. We need to draw... Hmm. We need to draw Riptide Rex. sense to attack with that. Always have a backup plan. Something of my sleep. <laughs> no Riptide Rex? We've drawn so many cards. Where's Riptide? Not even like Citrus Courier either, you know, like where Citrus Courier would at least allow us to attack again. Not even that. If only mortals were not driven by avarice and hatred. They will learn just as we did. Is there a six mana card that has nine health? That's probably not a thing, right? Oh, I 
and one away from deep. We'll turn that into a 7 7. I don't even know if it's worth getting rid of the Thresh. It's it's, actually, it's honestly not. Because if I get rid, rid of Thresh, they can just play new Thresh. Yeah, that's what they wanted to do. So I was going to gold card to stun this, but with uh, having the Citrus Courier, we'll go red card, turn on Plunder. So that unfortunately makes that... Okay, it only makes it 18, not... Okay, because yeah, cause it's already leveled up. Not 19. Uh, yeah, I guess we go with the Minotaur Reckoner. Yeah. So Trossy doesn't kill me. Why would they even do that? Why not just attack? Always have a backup plan. So there you are, Riptide Rex. Yeah, Trossy is just the 18. Heal the three with Citrus Courier. They weren't expecting that. They weren't expecting the, the Bilgewater PNZ to heal the Nexus. Wow. That was a good win, Harvey. Alright, Plunder Timelines. Getting it done. Yeah, they could have. Yeah, they definitely could have won that. All they had to do was just attack instead of play that zero mana right of calling. Maybe they forgot that they could attack. But yeah, all they had to do was attack. They would have killed one of my things, turned their Nasus into being nineteen, and then, uh, you know, and then atrocity. But they didn't do it. All right, Zed Brom. Let's keep Mystic Shot for Zed, Jaw Hunters for Zed, Hired Gun for Zed. And then buy for Brom. I'm gonna save sp spell mana and save this parlay. 
probably may help kill like a Braum or something. Like I don't. This is a one-one, right? Like we don't need to. We don't need to kill that one-one. We'll be fine. Yeah, now Rex shows up. Go with the flow. Timelines. What's up? What's up? Pledge yourself to the shadows. <laughs> Well, well, we'll take the bait. See the brittle steel. Joel Chan. All right. Hoping it works. Hooray! If I go Vi into Devourer, I don't have time for it. You know, I'm not able to play concurrent timelines, so... So I guess I just don't get to play Devourer next turn. Maybe this isn't like the best trade for me. Yeah, they buffing. They buffing up over there. That's lame. Talking about practice. All right, timelines is up. Okay, I'll just take the. No, oh, let's let's play this. What we get? Ooh, war chefs. So I can War Chefs turn this into a 10-5, and so it doesn't die to the Hearth Guard, but then also the 10 power levels up, all that kind of cool stuff, you know. They also didn't play anything this turn and waste all that mana, and I am going to pass and have them waste all that mana. Now we need to get we need to find some discard and draw cards and get rid of these timelines. Oh, I can't even target this? <sighs> Lame. But it's not going to be a Devourer. Yeah, I guess you have to choose first. Well, you learn things every day. I can attack him with the 5-5, five, five. I can block with the 2-2, two, two, and then it turns into a 5-3, so then I devour the 5-3. Let's 
scared. I don't blame you. Do not fear the shrouded path. Four three. Let's go. Uh, I guess Soul Gorger. Give me a three seven because it checks health. Some good deck building. No! Oh, I'm so proud. Blessed by snow and stars. I was so proud. Do not deny me. Whoa. Aberrosans, stand together. We ain't being denied, that's for sure. All right. System upgrade. Prime and ready. Plunder. They take it to the gun show. Okay, we got shark time. We'll see if we can hit Dreadway. How can Drum help? All right, so the Dreadway. No, no, the Dreadway. Well, we'll take Leviathan. And it's this little omen hawk that I was making fun of. It's the one that's sitting in the way. Alright, Leviathan's not bad. Leviathan turns on our second re Rex as well. They don't get a free block with Starlet Seer into the Soul Gorger. Fly away while you can. This would be a good okay, good. No Entomb. So that means the Braum does not survive damage, so that's alright. I thought they were going to go Fury North on the Braum. Have it survive 10 damage, should level it up immediately. They could have done that. The Fury of the North on the Braum would have been a good play. You got some faces. Understandable. Return fire! I wanted to get rid of the barrier on the Zed. Dreadway? No. I will take Uzgar. I mean, I guess I could get Tear of the Tides. I want Uzgar though. I don't play Uzgar enough. And we're good to go. That'll do. And that's a knockout. The our deck is sweet. Alright, we're 2 0. Lissandra Trundle. This is going to be a tough matchup with the Watcher. We're not going to be stopping that Watcher too much. Let's see what we got. Devourer could take down... We're just going to Mulligan. Mulligan. Let's Mulligan those. Actually, maybe Mulligan Jaw Hunters too. Because it dies to all the little sweepers. Eh, I'll, just, I'll keep it. Um, let's say Devourer could take out Lissandra, but a lot of these other things can take out Lissandra as well. 
Oh, whoa, we're going old school. We're playing Frozen Thrall. I like it. Frozen Thrall is underrated. Frozen, Frozen Thrall on turn one is... Can see the that's real. Gotcha. Timelines. Another timelines. We can discard the other timelines. So both of these are like pretty decent options anyway. Like I may not actually want, you know, something different. So I didn't want to just like play timelines right away. Um it's like a 4-3 is pretty good. I think I'm just gonna play 4-3. Usually a random 3 drops going to be worse than a 4-3. Yeah, survives Avalanche. Avalanche. Does not survive the boss. Citrus Courier is interesting. Leave your bags at the door. I'm doing this my way. Alright, so we'll see if they play. I'm, I'm really hoping they don't play. And I guess this doesn't even die to Avalanche, so. Uh. No, we don't. I guess it's just the Vox. Boo! Obviously, we're hoping they didn't have that. That's too bad. Yeah, that's too bad. That was a great ruination. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I just play this. You get some bad options at two. Down to six. I got backup frozen thrall coming in pretty soon. Alright, draw some more cards. Soak it in. Well, good thing I didn't go for the Vault Kill. Cause, I mean, I don't. I guess I don't know if they just drew Vengeance or not. Um, 
Let's make a sea monster. So the summon and the behold, those don't do anything. So it's just generic 3 3, generic 2 2, or assembly bot. Assembly bot definitely sounds better than the others. Alright, get a couple treasures. Fury Scout or Elusive. The Fury Scout just trades with the 8-6. I think he won. Hmm. Oh no, double devourer gone. So basically, we had Assembly Bot make a Stalking Broodmother. <laughs> you ever seen this? Stalking Broodmother, Assembly Bot created this card. That's wild. Supposed to be mystic shotting their nexus. Probably. I'm not sure I survive an open attack. In fact, I know I don't. <laughs> Dragons forged by robots. I remember I attacked them down to 6 a little while ago. Now they're back up to 11. Done in the thrall. Dead in their tracks. So they played the ice pillars, so we got to stun. Those Frozen Thralls were amazing, right? Like, those those really won my opponent that game. That card's pretty underrated. They had turn one and then, I don't know, turn like three or something like that. Frozen Thralls. Those things were awesome, especially that turn one one. Still an underrated card. It's just, it's terrible if you draw late, but just draw them early like my opponent did. All right, playing against Deep. They're again going to have a pretty nice top end. I mean, it's really, I guess, the Ruination that the one my opponent that game. But. Yeah, deep with Thresh. Thresh is good. Eat 
It's been awkward. They've played this really well. I really hope they don't have a Vile Feast to kill my Troll Hunters. Okay, cool. There's one Vile Feast gone. That's good news. Academic? No, I'll take Crash Counter. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Go and harvest him. Oh, I. These should be attacking the other way, but yeah, they're not blocking anyway. Sea Scarab's nice. Yeah, they're already to 18. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. So I'm doing this so I can mystic shot the Sea Scarab. I'm a people person. Oh, they don't have jettison. All right, so there are no more Valfies in the deck. That's where devourers start coming down every single turn. Not the best hits. We need a six cost spell real bad. Yeah, we need a six plus cost spell real bad. Find a six plus cost spell. Sure, we don't have one in the deck, but that doesn't mean that there's not one around somewhere. But opponent had a good hand. 
the one drop toss, two of the sea monsters toss, the three drop toss, you know, and then Thresh Nautilus. Good hand, and even a Vile Feast for interaction. I don't know if I'm supposed to block or not. I guess. No sympathy for sorcery. Was that to ten tough? Tilt over enforcer on the scene. Rip tide Rex. Rip tide Rex. That's not that bad. I could kill a Nautilus. And I have to play the Mystic Shot first because my um, I need to put the buy up to ten power. But sometimes your opponents just have better hands than you. That's alright. We've had a, a lot of luck today. Not always going to be this easy. Got a couple of good late game decks that we just had here with the uh, Lissandra Trundle and then Deep. They outgrinded us. That's alright. Alright, two and two. Let's get the last one. We have no no top end cards for us, you know, no Riptide Rex. Maybe we need three Riptide Rex. Both of those games, no no top end cards. Alright, Braum Vladimir. So yeah, maybe three Rex would be worth it. Because we're not seeing those Rexes when we need them. That's keeping all these. The Dredger is definitely the most questionable keep. But a 4-3 is just a good body in a combat matchup like this. Yeah, we lost. Right now we can discard Zonite Urchin. A 2-1 doesn't do very much in this matchup. A deck filled with Death Sands and things like that. So Hope's End, if our opponent doesn't end up showing up, if we don't really play a game, don't count it as a win with the predictions. Just You can delete the predictions. So 
So I'm not sure if our opponent's even here. Okay, cool. Oh, they're here. I think I'm gonna look for concurrent timelines with the spray fin. Yeah. It's like red card, gold card aren't really that good right now. Come, Clara, we have much to teach I can't wait. Yeah, it seems like this will be a pretty tough matchup for us. A lot of our, you know, like, power with our Kempunk Shredder and Twisted Fate, Red Card, like, that kind of stuff, not very good against these things. Like, I don't even think I want Shredder. student. So I want to play that because I want to play Jaw Hunters here, but I don't, but I actually want Jaw Hunters. So I I'll play the concurrent timelines, or so sorry, so I play that one drop first to be able to take up the concurrent timelines. Right, like, because if I leave with, with Jaw Hunters, then Jaw Hunters gets turned into some other random three drop that's probably like a stupid 2-2 two -two or 2-3 or something. And it's not a 4-1 challenger. Alright, Tear of the Tides, aka the Dreadway. I helped build this empire. Go and harvest it. Hey, Puppy, you wanna come up here? How you doing, Puppy? How you doing? Like best case scenario is they challenge this. Like I don't want them challenging the sparring student, but I I kind of hope that they challenge the spray fin, do two damage, but Brom to be an O three, and then I get to devour and kill Brom. Yeah, that that was the risk. Interesting. Well, they're willing to make this. Back right there. No, good. I pulled them from my head. Oh, no, a Kempunk Shredder. Uh. 
So yeah, I don't don't have great plans right now. So I got six cards in hand over there. It's a lot of cards. Go on, gift me a scar. Just another winter. Not exactly ideal, but you know. Oh yeah, there's definitely bad trades. I was real. I mean, I was really hoping they would block with the Scar Mother, right? Like that's what I wanted them to block with the Scar Mother, and then I tried to devour and have Mystic Shot back up for the Scar Mother. But they they did a very good job of not blocking with Scar Mother. That was a good play by them. And now I am. Um, now I'm kind of stuck. So hopefully this works. Yay, it worked. I thought you'd run. Well, that worked out. Because all I needed was any plus three to the health to save it. You know, like a the four mana double plus zero plus three or Realm's Champion spell. Anything like that. Me in. I stun this Vladimir, not let it attack. All that glitters. Load from that. Still have some fights left in me. I have the name. I need the reputation. Mm, such rich blood. All right, so just spray fin gets life steal, I guess. <laughs> spray fin, but with life steal. Still have some fights left in me. You're bluffing. Yeah, I thought. Didn't they make it? Oh no, they they made it, they changed it so you could do that, so you could get the same thing. I'm out. Alright, so none of these play abilities do anything. Okay, so I can either have 8 8 Fury, 8 8 without Fury, so obviously we take Fury, or 8 4 Overwhelm Spell Shield. I think 8 8 Fury sounds better, because 8 4 against 4 2s. I mean, it does have the Overwhelm, I guess, which would be 6 damage to them, which would be lethal ish. Mm. 
Yeah, King Koo could definitely be a 2-3 instead of a 2-2 again. Especially with having the 2-mana 1-2 lifesteal in Targon, and then 4-mana for just one extra power. Not sure about this mind splitter attack. We'll, we'll see. If they have like double death sand, I'm in tons of trouble. Like the game's kind of over if they have double death sand. Okay. That's great. I mean, Vladimir is awesome, so I'm very happy to make that trade. Uh. So this goes to... I'm not that mad at that. This goes to seven. So planning on playing like these two still this turn. Did want to stun Crimson Disciples so they play something else that's like big and scary, like Scar Mother or something, then red card that. The winter's claw will purge the weak. Gold card, I mean. I'm always up for a round or two. Hold it, partner. But not exactly sure how I'm getting the last eight points across right now. Cool. Alright, got Troll Chan out of their hand. Down to just one card. Uh, Beast Below. a problem because I guess deal one to all enemies is probably not good against Scar Mother. don't get any bonus with some purse bolts, just a 1-1. One, one. So this is just generic 5-5. Five, five. This is a 2-4 of the trains. Guess I want the 5-5. Five, five. Am I going to be draining 3? Gotta trust your instincts. that no block block the sub rock got me going. oh my gosh that was so bad oh I couldn't have gone any worse Fell into him. Uh. today we fight as one looks like trouble Six. Yeah, that was just really bad. I should have played the 4-4. Four, four. If I played the 4-4, four, four, I win this right here, but playing the 2-1, I lose. I should have just played the 4-4. Four, four. Man. They're going to have to make a bad block. No one else? Just you. 
Okay, they made a bad block. If all they had to do is have Scar Mother block one of these two, and they go to they go to one, and then Scar Mother kills me. Dead. Man, that that caught that this urchin just cost me. Can we draw Riptide Rex for once? Cause we don't have we won't turn on plunder, but still, Riptide Rex for once. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Cause I guess I can't turn on plunder, but it's still just an eight drop. It's still us getting an eight drop. The Dreadway. Alright, that'll do. Because it looks like they maybe just had like two like protection spells in hand or something. Or like avalanches. You know, Death Lotus, that kind of stuff. Why cast it? Because yeah, basically to get two to get two like lethal attackers. Um Yeah, so I I threw the game with playing the 2-1 instead of the 4-4, but then my opponent threw the game back with the bad blocks of having the Scar Mother die. It would have been risky because, yeah, I could have top-decked a Mystic Shot uh, to kill them if they went down to 1, but I think that was their best line, was just go to 1 and then swing with Scar Mother and game's over. But yeah, they were, they were scared of burn. <laughs> But they knew that I just discarded my, like, when I just played the 2-1, I discarded the 4-4, so I just drew one random card. So I had one random card, and then I was drawing another random card for turn. So I was, it was two random cards, right? Like, yes, one burn spell gets them, but there's not... It's not that likely that you draw a burn spell in two random cards, probably. In a, especially in a concurrent timeline decks with a bunch of followers. <laughs> okay, all decks with positive win ratio. Crazy, crazy game there, back and forth, um, and we ended up with the win. That that Zonite Urchin play really almost cost me that game, but we we drew the Riptide Rex just to get a Dreadway, and they their last two draws were a bunch of nothing. So. Um, yeah, that, this was a fun deck to play too. All four decks that we played today were really fun to play. I was very impressed with everything that we played. Um, this is another good good way to use concurrent timelines. I could see having a little bit more top end in the deck, right? Like like that was something that like we kind of noticed that we ran out of cards or didn't have enough top end, right? Like we the games that we lost, we didn't have you know no Riptide Rex, no Courier, nothing like that at the top end. So I could I could definitely see doing that. Um, you know, like, like Jagged Butcher was a card we never needed, right? Like Jagged Butcher, all Jagged Butcher was was like fuel to discard, <laughs> for example. So, like the two Jagged Butchers, they could go and they could turn into uh, probably some more expensive cards. I think. I think that's what that's like the one thing our deck was missing was just a little bit better top end than what we had. So maybe, maybe play a third Riptide Rex because that's the thing is if you get stuck like having having Zonite Urchins and some Treasures if you get stuck with too many top end cards you can just discard them right so like it's actually so it's just better to go that way so I'll get rid of the two one drops let's play a third Rex and then uh, maybe a second Courier or Sheriff Lariat Rose isn't bad giving everything vulnerable also um Experimenter is kind of cool too, though. 
discard your hand, draw three, deal three, because because with Experimenter, you get a much better body with that. I wouldn't mind playing one Experimenter. Be a cool removal spell and a draw three. Because we were, we were running out of cards in most all those matchups. So that could be kind of cool. Yeah. All right, that's what I would do. I would play another one of those in a Riptide Rex. If you want to play a second Citrus Courier, though, that, that could also be good, too. If you find that, like, you have Experimenter early. Because you, you really don't want this card early, right? Because, like, if you have, like, this and Riptide Rex in your same hand, then you can't really do both. Um, you could go with some... Yeah, you could go with Puff Cap cards for Plunder. Probably, you know, like, the 4-drop that makes the Puff Cap cards. But I just think like these, we have so many good four, four drops already. I, I'm happy with Magician. I, I liked the Spray Fin. So I don't I don't think it really fits. Sassin, thank you so much for the for the Twitch Prime resub. I, I appreciate that, Sassin. Getting that resub in here two months. You are too sweet. Thank you, Sassin. You're a rock star. Ah. There we go. Three. All right, but anyway, um, that's going to be it here for Plunder Timelines. Pretty sweet deck here. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck and what you think of like the Augmented Experimenter in there or maybe two Citrus Couriers or getting a third Riptide Rex in here. You know, anything like that. I'd appreciate it. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Plunder Timelines, and I'll see you for the next video.